What spot type? Oh, oh, sorry. The Little Red Hen, adapted by Carolyn Quadraki, illustrated by Tim Ellis. Once upon a time in a little cottage, in a small, cozy little house, a little red hen lived with her chicks. The little red hen worked very hard taking care of her house and her family. She was a happy little hen and she sang cheerful songs as she did her chores. A little red little hen had three friends. A cat, a dog, and a pig lived very near her. And they varied very different stories. Like a mouse, a sneezing rat, a goose, a duck, etc. Every day she watched her free friends playing, but the little red hen didn't have time to play. She was too busy with her chicks in her house. The little red hen started each day early in the morning. First she cooked breakfast for all her chicks. Then she made the beds and tend her garden. She cooked the meals, washed the clothes, and scrubbed the floors. She worked hard from morning till night. But her three lazy friends, the cat, the, the dog, and the pig, never seemed to work at all. They went for long walks in the sunshine, lay about in the soft grass, and spent their time reading stories and playing games. One sunny day, the little red hen was wa was I working in her garden. Then she looked down at the ground where she was pulling some weeds, and she noticed some grains of wheat. Who will help me plant this wheat? The red hen asked her three friends. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Then I'll do it myself. Said the little red hen. <laughs> the little red hen went with the grains of wheat. Soon the wheat grew. The little red hen looked at the growing wheat and asked, Who will help me tend this wheat? <laughs> Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the god. Not I, said the pig. Then I'll do it myself. Said the little red hen to her three lazy friends. The days went by, and the little red hen worked very hard farming the wheat. She watered, she didn't hold the ground, and pulled the wheat. Dirty hoe. Finally, the wheat was ripe and ready to be harvested. But God, who will help me cut not all this wheat? The little red hen asked. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. But God, God, then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. The little red hen worked, worked from morning to night cutting the golden wheat. When she finished harvesting all the wheat, she loaded it into her wagon. The little red hen looked at the wagon filled with wheat and asked, But I, but God, who will help me take the wheat to the mill to be ground and in the flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. I'll do it myself, said the little red hen to her free backstabbing lazy as hell friends. The little red hen walked a long way into the village. She pulled her wagon of wheat behind her. When she got to the millet, she went to see the Iwapu, the miller. Will you grind will you grind this wheat and flour me? said the little red hen. Oh yes, said the miller. This wheat will make no flour for bread for all your chicks, but for me, eating bread is so stupid. The miller ground the wheat into flour, and the little red hen set out for home. This time in her wagon, she had a large sack of flour to make bread. When the little red hen came back to her house, her three lazy, backstabbing friends were waiting for her. She showed them to the flour. Little <laughs> them the flour. Bacard, bacard, now I shall make some bread and with the flour, said the red hen. Who will help me bake the bread? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Bacard, bacard, then I'll do it myself, said the red hen. And she began to wonder if the three were really friends. The little red, the little red, when the bread was baked, the little red hen asked, Who will help me bake? Eat the bread, bacard. Mm. I will, said the cat. I will, said the dog. I will, said the pig. 
But the little redhead stamped her foot and said angrily to the cat, the pig, and the dog, Oh no! I found the weed! I planted the weed! I did it! Wait, I harvested the weed! I took the weed to the ground flower and I made the bread! Then the little red hen said, All these things I did, it all by myself. Now the chick and I will eat this bread all by ourselves. Bacak, bacak, bacak. The end. Sorry, I didn't say re end. The end goes out to be very early.